here we are with the fourth part of the video that is the last part where we're going to rig bones to this character all right so uh, in the first three videos we have made this character starting from the scratch with the head the body and the legs and in this last video we're going to rig bones to it so that we can use it in our animation to create some animation all right so on the right hand side let me show you a few layers that we have made for the for building this character the head the body neck foot and every all the other things and uh, so let's start and rig some bones to it. Well, uh, first of all, I'm gonna make a new layer, a new bone layer, and you can see the bone layer with the bone symbol, and I'm gonna name it as bone. All right, enter. And now with the bone layer, um, I'm gonna select all the other layers for this for this character. Hold shift, and I'm gonna select all these layers, and I'm gonna click and drag it inside the bone layer. As I move my cursor towards the bone layer, I can see the bone layer turning transparent red. That means if I leave the mouse right now, all the layers that I have selected will move inside the bone layer. So if I leave the mouse button, I can see all these layers inside the bone layer. Just to confirm, if I click on this rectangle, I make sure that all the layers are inside the bone layer. Alright, now with the bone layer selected, make sure that the bone layer is selected. Go on the left hand side, click on this add bone tool and I'm gonna add some bones to it. Um, for those people who are who have who have no idea about the bones, how we rig bones, how we add bones, I prefer you watch the other video tutorials that I have made on uh, basic bone rigging and advanced bone rigging, where I have really explained how we make it, how the bones work uh, from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna give a brief idea of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna make the first bone, the main bone, and it will be something like this. I'm going to make another bone, just clicking and dragging, and I'm going to make the bone for the neck. Now let me zoom in a bit so that you can properly see what I am doing. Now I'm going to make the bone for the shoulder, but uh, when I make the bone for the shoulder, this shoulder bone will be the child of this bone right here. So for that, I need to select this bone with the select bone tool. Now as this is selected right now, I can add a new bone with the add bone tool. I'm going to add the bone for the shoulder. Now the arm bone will be the child of this shoulder bone. So I'm going to make the add bone. Now with this bone already selected, I'm going to add another bone and one bone for the hand. Fine. Now I'm going to select this bone again right here so that I can make the bones for the arm for the other arm. And I'm going to make the shoulder bone, then the arm bone. I'll complete it and the hand bone. Fine. Now I'm gonna again select this uh, select bone tool, and I'm gonna make the bones for the uh, leg. So, and for thigh and foot. Similarly for the other bone, or the leg. I mean, I'm gonna add bones to it. So here we are. All the bones added except the head. Let me add the head also. So the neck layer will be the, will be the parent and I'm going to make the bone for the head alright so here we are with the bones and uh, if I select the manipulate bone tool over here I can move these bones around if I click on it and drag it I can see the arm moving but I can see that the uh, hand is not moving well that's because the hand is in the um, switch layer and switch layer doesn't respond to the bones the way we want to so there's a better solution for this that I'm going to tell you within a few moments so uh, just checking that I can see I can move my uh, character around control plus E to undo it and even the head rolling and also the hand are rolling with it which I do not want but I'm going to fix it in a couple of moments and even the legs legs are working quite really fine I mean really good all right now um, what do we want we need to fix all this uh, bones i can see it's not moving really great i can see all these um, points that are on the downside they are moving along with the shoulder i mean i do not want that so i'm gonna restrict the movement uh, using a few tools that i'm gonna tell you right now so first of all uh, what i'm gonna tell you is uh, i'm gonna bind certain layers to certain bones that means with this, uh, the left arm of 
with the left hand of this character I'm gonna bind this bone to the left hand layer this switch layer what this will do this will fix this uh, layer left hand with the left bone left hand bone and when I move this bone only this uh, left hand will move and nothing else all right so I'll show you first of all I'm gonna click on the I'm gonna select this um, this left hand bone and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the hand right over here yep now select first of all select the left hand and then I'm gonna select this uh, bind layer tool select it and I'm gonna select the bone which I want to bind with the selected layer right now so it's the left hand I want to bind the left hand so I'm gonna click on this left hand bone and now this bone is binded to this left hand similarly I'm gonna select the right hand layer switch layer and again with the bind layer tool selected I'm gonna bind this uh, this right hand bone now this bone is binded to the right hand switch okay just to confirm if you click on the bone layer and use the manipulate bone tool and if I move this arm I can see uh, looks like I have binded upside down all right anyways press ctrl plus Z again so I'm gonna select the left hand again and I'm gonna bind this left hand with this bone right now all right because I did it upside down I, I previously bind it with this layer the other hand well <laughs> my mistake fine I'm gonna select the right hand switch layer right now and I'm gonna bind this uh, layer with the right hand one the correct one now if I select the um, bone layer and use the manipulate bone tool and if I move my hand I can see that my uh, hands are moving quite fine the way I want it to right much much smoother than the before one all right now what we need to do uh, I can see that almost we have bind it I mean almost, it's almost perfect I mean not much work needed but still certain things are needed now as I move this um, head I can see its shoulders are also moving right let me zoom in a bit so you can see properly what I'm trying to say uh, with the manipulate bone tool if I move this uh, head I can see the shoulders moving which I do not want so similarly I'm going to do the same thing to this bone I'm going to bind this head bone to the head layer over here the head folder this group layer how I'm going to do that I'm going to select the layer first then I'm going to bind this layer so I'm going to use the bind layer tool under the tools menu and I'm going to select the layer which then select the bone that I want to bind with the head which is the head bone so I'm going to click on it and here we are so it's now binded so I'm going to check it by clicking on the bone layer and with the manipulate bone tool if I move this um, head bone right now I can see that the well, the head is moving. I can see the sore shoulder is still moving. Well, that's not a problem. We'll correct it in a moment. Right now, if you if you move this uh, neck bone also, yeah, things are going pretty fine. Now, let's come back to the body layer first. I'm gonna fix everything in the body layer. How I'm gonna do that? I'm gonna select the um, body layer over here. All right, the body layer. I'm gonna select the body layer. And I'm gonna select the bind point to it. Right now, what we are we are going to do, we're gonna bind certain points to certain bones. In just a few moments ago, we have binded certain layers to the bone, but now we're gonna bind certain points to the bone. Okay, so I'm gonna select the bone. Uh, let's say I select the uh, this arm bone. All right, I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna select the bind point tool, and I'm gonna select the points that I want to bind with it. So I want to bind these points. Let's click and drag to select the points. Hold shift to select further more points. So I want these four points to be binded with this bone. So I'm going to simply press space. Now these four points are binded to this arm. Similarly, I'm going to select the select bone tool. And I'm going to select the other bone. And with the bind point tool, I'm going to select these points. All right. Hold press shift to select further more points, and this seems to be fine. I'm gonna select this point too. All 
right? Now, I'm going to bind all these points to this bone by pressing space. Now, these points are binded. Just to confirm, I'm going to select the bone there and I'm going to move this bone just to see if it's moving the way I want it. Well, it's moving pretty good, but I see certain points that this, this shape is not the way I want it to be. I'm going to press Ctrl plus Z and see the arm. Well, yeah, it's moving great, but these uh, points are also moving well. We need to fix that too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to again go back to the body layer and I'm going to bind each and every bone to certain points. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the bone that I want to bind, this is the shoulder this time. And I'm going to select the bind point tool and simply bind the uh, points, other points, alright. And this is the only point that I want to bind with this, uh, this bone, so I'm going to press space, it's fine. And again I'm going to select the other bone, the other shoulder. And I'm going to bind this point. Uh, I'm sorry, this point. I'm going to press space. Yeah, so this point is now right now binded. I'm going to select uh, this bone right now and the bind point tool. I'm going to select the points that I want to bind, which are these. I'm pressing hold shift to select further more points that I want to bind. And here I'm going to press space. Now these points are binded. Repeat the process for all the bones and hold press shift and press space, points binded. Well, two more for the more bones left for the body. I'll press I'm never here and I'm gonna bind the remaining points, which is this one, these three here, and um, Well, those are the only three points that I want to buy. So I'm going to press space and here we go. Now again this bone. Now the other points to be binded with this layer. And I'm going to press space. So let me just check if everything is alright. So I can, no need to select the bone layer. You can directly select the manipulate bone tool with the body layer select. Now if I move around, I can see the points that are moving with this bone. I can see the points automatically get highlighted as I move the bone so I can see which points are moving now I can correct the points I can see that this point is not moving whereas it should move as you can see it's creating an absurd movement right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna press Ctrl plus Z and I'm gonna select the body and I'm gonna bind that point too with this layer alright so uh, with the Bind point tool selected. I'm gonna hold shift key and I'm gonna select that point tool. I'm gonna press space. Now, this point is also binded. All these highlighted points are binded to the highlighted bone. I'm gonna select the other bone also because it's the same case over there. And I'm gonna select this point tool. Hold press shift key. Furthermore, select and add points, add selected points. So, I'm gonna press space and here we are. It's selected. Now, if I use the manipulate bone tool, I can see pretty. Um, better movement but still I mean it's not working the way it should be no problem we'll fix that this is something that you need to you know think over and fix how you want it which point should be with which layer which boom exactly so I think that point should be binded with this layer uh, this bone uh, right so I'm going to use the bind point tool, I'm going to select this here, I'm going to press space, select it. Similarly for the other shoulder, I'm going to press bind point tool, I'm going to select it, I'm going to press space. That thing's moving great. And I'm going to select this bone too, and I can see it's already removed from this bone. And this I'm going to remove, remove, okay, now I'm going to use the manipulate bone tool and see if it's working fine. Well, It is. It works fine till I have the degree of the movement under control, right? Pretty much fine, and the hands are also moving great except this point. So let me um, add this point too. All right, I'm going to select this point, and I'm going to add this point over here. This point. Press shift. Similarly for this one. 
I must find this. All right now, if I move, you move it now, I can see much better movement, right? You in here also, much better. Well, that's the way how we bind it. Similarly, we can do for the legs also. And uh, foot, well, even for the foot as you want. So this is how we bind the uh, bone. Uh, we rig the bones to the character, customly mating, making it from the start and adding bones to it and this is the way we create our own custom characters well um, I hope you learned something you um, get an idea how we do things well uh, thanks for watching and if there's furthermore that you need help you can always comment and approach me well thanks for watching